This is my 2004 Buell XB12R Firebolt. And I have not owned this very long. I bought it kind of as an experiment. I wanted to, I wanted to ride it. Um, I'm 35 years old. And uh, the last time I owned a sport bike and rode it regularly was when I was about 19. Um, and I rode from, I bought my very first bike, didn't even know how to ride in Colorado, Denver. And I rode it all the way down to Mexico, down through New Mexico and, and Texas and literally all the way to the Mexican border. And I had a blast and I rode it for a long time. And then, since then I've only had cruisers. Well, since then I got married, had a family, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, bought this bike. It is so much fun, it's so torquey, it's so fast, uh, but the riding position is just not for me. I'm not a sport bike guy and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a cruiser. In fact, I'd be open to a trade if somebody wanted to trade me for something. Um, it needs to be at least a 1200 or larger, 1100 or larger cruiser. But anyways, so, but the bike runs awesome. I bought it off a guy um, who actually didn't own it very long. He took it in on a trade for some work that was done and uh, he got it from someone who dropped it. Um, they probably did a medium speed drop on it. So I wanted to do a video and show that it's got a scratch here. There's some rash, a little bit of rash on the wheels, on the, um, on the uh, passenger side of the wheels. I say passenger side, you know, right side, I should say. Um, there's a piece of, ra there's a rash right there and a minor, minor scratch on the tank. Um, and then a little bit of rash down here. You can see where I just put a little bit of primer to protect it from getting any surface rust on it. Um, it looks like the the body, somebody maybe paint did a really inexpensive paint job, maybe even a spray can paint job out of it. Um, obviously, they replaced some things. Um, when they dropped it, they would have fixed the um, light. And uh, it's got a newer uh, replacement uh, fender down below this one. Actually, I just put it on and uh, really finished the bike off been riding it without it so I've ridden this bike and it runs flawlessly I love it I think the battery is just a little bit weak because it's been cold you can hear the uh, you can hear the fan come on the electronics come on make sure that it's in neutral before I fire it up I touch the I touch it I mean it fires right up mechanically there's nothing wrong with this bike that I know of at all it's got really low miles on it which is I love this it's got a clock Eight thousand and forty-one miles. The last trip I took thirty. Last trip I took thirty-one miles. I rode thirty-one miles the last time I took it out for a ride. Of course, it's a twelve hundred. So you know, it's, that's the Harley engine. It's got the Harley stamps on it. It's got a fuel stamp on it. New HD stamps on it. Um. The one kicker with this bike, and I'm, I'm selling it cheaper because of this, I when I bought it, I bought it just with a bill of sale. I had the police department come out. They did a uh, VIN verification report on it, which I still have a copy of. And uh, so it's not been reported stolen. It's not a stolen bike or anything like that. I've since registered it. I have a current tag on it. And um, I own it, and then I purchased a bonded title for it. In the state of Georgia, a bonded title can take three to four months to come in. They kind of take their sweet time over at the title office doing it. So um, I would, I'm gonna sell it and suggest that the new buyer put a bonded title on it. Like I said, it costs a hundred bucks. So whatever I'm selling it to you for, just add a hundred bucks to it and you can go get it titled and registered and everything. And they, they literally, they do a bonded title within about an hour you call them up, you give them all the information, give them your credit card number. They charge you a hundred bucks and send you the title, fax it to your email, it to you instantly. The bond, the bonding, not the title, but the bonding. So anyways, like I said, I have clear ownership on it, proof of registration, proof of insurance, police VIN verification report. So I have all the paperwork on it except for the title because the title came from Tennessee, it was lost. And this is what you have to do when you lose a title. You have to go through this process of getting it back. And I just don't want to wait until, you know, January or February. So I'm gonna let somebody else have a great deal on this bike. I think it's an awesome way to get into this bike. Um, when they look perfect, you know, they sell for four, five, six grand. And I almost bought one like that and I thought, no, this is the way to do it. Let's get into a bike for like three grand and basically selling it for what I paid for it. And then, you know what, if I don't like it, I can sell it and get my money back out of it, not lose anything, and somebody else will still be getting a great deal. So there you have it. It's a 2004 XB12R, um, and that is a Firebolt. And runs great, 
rides great i mean i would jump on this bike and ride it to florida right now mechanically it's in great shape the brakes work great all the lights work the horn works it's ready to go